So today is September 23rd of 2017 and there's exactly 100 days left before now and the New Year's. 100 days. And I think I have an idea of how exactly I want to spend those 100 days. Yeah. But it's hot. Wow, it's really hot. <laughs> I'm a big believer in the fact that if you want to learn something or improve something or do something new, you do it every single day. Because it's simple, you know, it's like a simple yes or no, did I do it today or did I not do it today? So yeah, and uh, right now I want to improve my sketching abilities, you know, my ability to sketch on my sketchbook. And I want to keep things simple, so I like to do it every single day. But the thing is, there are days where I just couldn't do it, you know, because I'm too busy that day or I'm too lazy or my hands start spinning from too much drawing or I just need a break or I just, I'm, I'm too lazy. But what if? What if I don't make it hard this time? What if I make it so easy that I can't say no? I can't say no, like ever. So enter the six minute sketch challenge. So the six minute sketch challenge is very simple. You take up your piece of paper or your sketchbook, your pen or your pencil, set up a timer for six minutes on your phone and you draw. See, I told you, that's simple. And you can draw anything, you know, you can draw a doodle, a tiny sketch, or scribble the hell out of your paper, or, you know, just you can draw anything. And here's the kicker, when that six minutes is over, you can decide whether you want to stop or continue going. So on the days where you kind of feel like it, you draw your hearts out. On the days where you don't, you just get in your six minutes. And the drawing doesn't have to be good, you know, it just, just needs to be there. Like draw something, like put your pen on paper and scribble, like something will pop out. Oh. And the dealio is I've been trying the six minute sketch challenge for the past two months fairly consistently and I gotta say, boy, it works wonders, it does. So every time I like sit down to draw just for six minutes, I don't do it just for six minutes. I do more, a lot more. Like today, I just started drawing for six minutes, then I ended up doing this illustration thing for like one and a half hours, so yeah, there's that. So I asked myself, like, why does this thing work? Why does it work? Well, the answer was very simple. It's because it's small and easy. Thus, it takes the pressure of performing this gargantuous task and makes it easy. And uh, remember that idea of just getting started and things will just come along if you just get started? Well, this makes the starting part a lot easier because starting something is the most hardest part for most people, like me. So most of the time, I don't do something because of the high standards I've set myself inside my head. And that pressure of performance stops me from being able to do a work that I naturally should be able to do. But when I ground that high standards in reality and just chip away at the work one piece at a time, things I produce are a lot better. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make use of this next 100 days productively. So I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna give myself a challenge, the 100 day challenge, where I'm gonna do a six minute doodle every single day for the next 100 days. The reason why I'm doing this is just because I just wanna draw, improve my sketching abilities, and I wanna draw with people, like people who are watching this video right now. Yeah, you, because most people just want to get into sketching and drawing and more, most people are finding it hard because it, they don't have time. Like this, if you, this is like six minutes. You, you, if you don't have time for six minutes, it's uh, like, okay, wow, you're, you must be super busy. But uh, it's a six minute challenge. If you want to join with me on this challenge where you just draw for six minutes every single day, I mean, uh, uh, let's, let's do this together. Yay. So most people have problem generating ideas on a daily basis, that's the point of this challenge. But if you still have problems with that, I highly recommend checking out another YouTube illustrator called Casey Golden, who's doing a series called the 500 Prompt Series, where she's got these 500 prompts and when she draws something based on those prompts, it's, it's pretty damn cool. So I'm going to be using those prompts as an idea generating machine to make this challenge work. Yeah, thanks Casey. Uh, this is like, consider this like a very unofficial collaboration. We'll do an official one though, yeah? Cool. Cool. I'll be posting every single thing I draw on this challenge to my Instagram and this private Facebook group called The Creatives. So people who want to do this challenge along with me can, you know, just come in, join this Facebook group, just post your drawing, share your stuff, just show the world that you like your coolness and awesomeness and all that stuff. And that's what I'm going to be doing as well. And uh, yeah, what else? So yeah, well, nothing. That's, that's, that's all there is to this video. We're going to draw for the 100 days, for the next 100 days. Pretty damn cool though, bro. Damn cool. Do I, do I have anything else to say? Uh... 
No, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> this must be the coolest ending for any video. Right? Yeah. I have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs>